you saw the sneak peek, a peek, I rocked them to the gym yesterday. These were super delayed. I ordered these weeks ago. I mean like three weeks plus ago from GOAT because I missed on them in the restock from Adidas. But we've got the MX Granite Foam Runners. Let's kick it. Standard stuff with their box. I got size nine, which I did with the Onyx Foam Runners as well. Let me see foam inside the box. And here we have it, the MX Granite Foam Runner. They are nice and dirty on the bottom. Like I said, I did wear them all day yesterday. And sizing inconsistencies, which we'll touch on in a little bit. But let's talk about this color. If you like gray monotone colors, this is arguably the best of the bunch. I like these more than my Onyx Foam Runners, which are the kind of charcoal gray blackish colorway, if you will. Toe down view is really nice. I like rocking these with joggers. The on feet's gonna be with some jeans. I've never worn these with jeans. I haven't done it yet. We're gonna be filming that after this portion, so we'll see how they look with some light wash jeans. I don't know, maybe, maybe good, maybe shit. We're gonna find out. But super comfortable. So I had a really hard leg day the day before. So for those of you that didn't know, recently was in a bodybuilding competition. Was in a heavy de deficit, zero carb, cutting for a while. Strength was not my forte for a while. Well, now that I've been, it's been close to two weeks now. Yeah, it's been two weeks as of today. I've been eating a lot more calories in more of a surplus. I'm bigger and fuller, as you, I'm sure you've noticed. So I'm stronger. So I'm able to train harder, lift heavier, put more intensity in. So point being, my legs are very sore. I needed some something easy on the joints and the tendons after a hard leg day. And it popped in my head. I was like, I got these in. Let me throw these on. When I tell you, I firmly believe this is one of the best recovery shoes you could wear at the gym the following day after a hard leg workout. I really do believe that. This was an incredible idea and option because I trained chest and back yesterday when I wore these and, you know, walking around machine to machine, doing different things and so on. Man, after doing morning cardio for an hour on the elliptical, really getting my joints going, my legs were very stiff and sore and fatigued and I didn't want my feet to have to work too hard to keep me stable but I did want some nice squishy step in comfort and just slide into these go on about my day Un unsung hero for a recovery day after running for you runners or a heavy lifting day for you lifters with the leg day I wanted to touch on that because that's been my experience with these yesterday and overall, they're just, they're sleek, man. Look, I thought they were super ugly for the longest time until I got a pair. And even when I got a, my first pair, I was like, they are still, they are ugly. They're not as ugly as the 450, but they are ugly. And I wore them. And I'm all about the money shot. The toe down view, there's a great toe down view. And look, people love Crocs. Crocs aren't pretty. People put all kinds of little charms and shit all over their Crocs. That looks stupid to me. So anybody that thinks this looks stupid, do you have charms on your Crocs? I don't want to hear it. Um, so, because look, they aren't the sharpest looking thing in the world. They're very unique. They're called runners. I wouldn't run in these. But casually walking around the gym, especially after needing a recovery day, these are fantastic for it. I think these are awesome. I love the colorway. They're highly versatile. You have the Adidas logo here in the inset inside the foam. These are great. These are great casually. They are super cushy, comfortable. And then on top of that, the sizing discrepancy. So I have a size nine in the Onyx and they fit a little, little tight on top of the foot. You know, lengthwise, they're good. These, size nine, a little bit of room. Feel like I could have went with an eight, but that would have been risky business and they might have been too tight. So these fit probably almost a full size bigger than my size nine Onyx foam runners. Like I have room, if I slide my foot to the front, I got a nice gap right here where I can literally do this with ease right behind. Um, so they fit a little big, but not a bad thing. Super, super comfortable. Now they do look a little bit bigger on foot because of it, more of a clown shoe effect, I think, because I think they're already kind of big looking when you wear a tighter collar. So again, I don't know how they look with a loose cuff jean yet. We're going to find out here in a moment. You already saw it. I haven't filmed that portion yet, but it's part of the sneak peek intro to the sneaker videos. So we're going to find out here in just a little bit, but yeah, sizing discrepancy. Uh, supposedly with the slides, that's been an issue, but I have three different colors from three different model years. 
I have the flax slide, I have the salt slide, I have the glow greens, which we haven't done a video yet here on the channel. I've had them for like two weeks, just haven't got around to them yet. Um, all three fit exactly the same, size nine. I didn't have to go up crazy amounts. Some people say like go up two full sizes. I played it what I thought was safe and it was a good play. I did the same thing here and there's an actual size discrepancy where this fits more like a 10 and it's a nine and those nines fit more like an eight and a half. So be mindful that with these foam runners, at least in my experience, there's more of a size discrepancy, but let's see what these look like on feet with jeans of all things.